What's up, everybody? It's your girl, July, from Kickback Couture. And if you're trying to get that rich analog warmth in your sounds, on your sounds and reason, I've got four quick ways for you to make it happen. Let's hear what this sounds like with no effects. And with effects. First up, Audiomatic Retro Transformer. It's a stock device, and when you switch the mode to tape, it adds smooth, low-end saturation that you might get from a real tape machine. It's perfect for making your sounds more fuller and more vintage. So let's start off with this bass. So here we have the Audiomatic in tape mode. Let's hear this bass without the effects first. And this is the Autobot bass from Avian, which is on sale right now. It's got 300 patches. Now we have that tape on. And if we pull up Transform, we'll get more of that tape sound. Especially, I can hear it a lot in the high end. Pull down the dry wet knob and you hear less of that. You can experiment with other options here, like cracked or vinyl or bottom. But beware, these will change your sounds in different ways than just adding analog saturation. Next up, I want to show you how to do this with Scream 4. So let's move on to the next sound, which are some keys here. Scream 4. And here there are two modes I like to use for that analog vibe, either tube or tape. And let's go ahead and zoom in because this is really small. All right, here's Scream. I'm going to put it on two mode first. So here with the tube algorithm, we want the contour and the bass all the way up for a cleaner sound and we can adjust the damage control to affect the amount and how much of this scream is affecting our signal. Now we're getting a lot of distortion, so I would definitely pull back. The second algorithm I might use for that analog sound and reason with Scream is the tape. And in that case, I pull down both these parameters for speed and compression. And you'll see what it sounds like as we pull these up. So you could still get like a clean vibe depending on how you want to tune these settings. Now for our third example, I want to show you some of the stock effects combinators in Reason that might help with the sound. So let's go to our synth here. This is also an Avian. This is what this sounds like with no kind of tape processing. Now what we're gonna do is take a trip into the Reason browser. We're going to go into the Reason library, effects patches, and there's a folder called Fidelity Effects. And in that, we're gonna go to our tape simulation effects. And here we have 10 different tape simulation effects. Let's try the sticky reel preset. And this is also a Scream 4 device, but there are some combinators in here as well. You could tell by the last the extension at the end, so SM4 is Scream 4, and CMB is Combinator. So let's go ahead and close that if I could see the browser. Tape 
YouTube dat. BTR1 Here's that tape setting we talked about I like this retape vibe. Let's listen to it before Let's bypass our analog warmth processing and then turn it back on to see what we've came up with. So I can definitely hear some brightness added and some frequency modulation added to some of the textures and the sounds here. Now the fourth and final tip I want to show you is actually a rack extension by Experimental Sounds. For the purpose of this example, we're going to use a bus, tape funk, M10 tape recorder. And we'll just go through a few presets and I'll show you how you can adjust this. Without the processing, with it. Alright, so I have a favorite that I would like to use, either a fat cassette or, let's see, old ferrite. Let's go with this one. Now you can close and open this tweaking area by clicking on this little rectangular button. Yeah, I was going to say square. Okay, and then you'll also have some controls that you can change and some things that just look like controls that you can change. It might help to zoom into this particular device because these are small. So I'm going to zoom in some more. Here I am zoomed in 200% and we have a response, depth, speed, and drive. So let's start with these and then we'll move to the right. Next over here, we have four different EQ curves. I like the brightness of the fourth one. If you click on any of this stuff right here, you'll notice that there are no controls. But over here, we have a compressor control. So let's check this out. So by lowering this threshold over and bringing this knob to the left, we get some compression and this LED shows what's happening. Our next editable control over here is this tube drive. Would be careful with this tube drive because it can introduce some distortion. We can change the tape select mode. I like the first one. Then over here, I love this section because sometimes we just do not want hiss in our samples. So we can have that on low, medium, or high. I'm going to turn it off. Of course, we have our input gain and output level here. So if you would like to mess with this drive, maybe pull it up, but turn the input down. You could experiment with some distortion, but I like a clean sound. 
So I might go for something like that. Now, those are four ways, whether you're chopping up samples or working on your own beats or creating samples from scratch. Tools, four tools that are clutch for adding analog warmth and reason. Try them out. Hit me up with your thoughts and keep an ear out for more gems coming soon. It's all culture. Kick back and cook up. Today is day 20 of our 30-day Reason Marathon.